Um, okay, my name is Maria Falzoni, full of baloney. And uh, what family is to me has changed over time. So, you know, growing up Italian, family was my mother, my father, my brother, all my aunts, my cousins, you know, my neighbors next door, you know, people up the street, that was family. You know, that's your family. And uh, growing up, like my mother, whenever my brother and I would fight, and my mother and my father would say, someday we're going to be gone and you're only going to have each other. So family to this day includes my brother. I only have one brother um, and his wife and his children. Um, his, his first wife, I really don't consider her family. I really never even did when they were married. But my nephews are my family. And, um, and then I got married and I have a daughter, so they're family. And my husband and I are now separating and eventually going to divorce. Um, but I still, he's, he's family because he's the father of my daughter and really important in her life. So when I think family, I think immediate family, like the most important thing is my daughter and I. Like she's my family. She's my everything. Um, so that's my family. You know, I don't know what she's going to do, I do, who she is, like, because like, when people say who's she going to be, she already is. So, you know, like, I, I think, like, when we ask what, what are you, a child, what are you going to be when you're going to grow up, is such a disservice to a child, because they already are. Like, it's to discredit that they are already being, they're being in every moment. So I don't know what she's going to end up doing when she grows up, but who she is right now is, like, the most amazing, magical 12-year-old that is the biggest pain in my ass. That's who she is right now, yeah. And she's a great student and a great friend and trying to figure out life and trying to figure out what it's like to have a mother and father that aren't together anymore and who she is without a mother and father that are together anymore. And that's really painful, so she's like a 12-year-old in a lot of pain that doesn't have a family that, you know, she had when she was born and never thought that we wouldn't all be together. Yeah. And what she thinks of me is kind of mixed, you know, because, you know, her, all her friends go, oh, my God, your mom's so hot or your mom's really cool because she's got a mohawk and all that stuff. And she'll say, yeah, but you don't live with her, you know. So I don't know. I think part of her thinks that I'm cool and another part thinks that I'm the biggest pain in the ass that ever walked the face of the earth. Some of that shit that comes out of my mouth that my mother said to me, and I go, oh, my, oh, like, I can't even take it back because it actually makes sense. And she doesn't, unfortunately, she's not alive, but wherever, the, if there is a heaven, she's up there going, you know, I got you. <laughs>
So that was pretty, that was pretty amazing.